Okay, guys, I did it. I bought a cricket machine. Since I recently uploaded a video where I show how you can make stickers without a cricket machine, you're probably wondering why did you buy one? So that's because you can actually make stickers really easily without a Cricut machine. However, if you're planning on selling them and making stickers in bulk, you have to invest a lot of time that I don't have at the moment. So this was the next logical step in my opinion. So I bought the Cricut Maker 3, which is the latest model. As you might know, I bought it at an online store where they had a really good offer. So you not only get the Cricut Maker, but you also get, well, something what they call the Creator Pack. So there's a vinyl and stuff in there. And I also ordered some extra mats. So you don't need these mats, you can use smart material and it will cut it without a mat. But I'm not planning on using Cricut branded vinyl all the time, so I thought getting the mats would be a good idea. And now let's see if the Cricut Maker is still functioning because the package actually got a little damaged. Well, it's not that there's some tape saying that it's fragile or something. Yeah, so you can throw the package, of course. Good idea, always nice. Let's see if everything's fine in there and unbox it. So first, let's have a look at the maker. Let's get it out. Damn, this one is heavy. There it is. Now that I'm seeing the box in its full size, I'm kind of worried that the maker maybe won't fit where I'm intending to place it but let's hope for the best. <laughs> so we have some paperwork, I guess. So this is where all my money went. At least it's pretty. <laughs> and heavy, oh wow. Wow, this one is heavier than expected. The best part of an unboxing is always getting rid of the foil. Hello, beautiful. Oh. Okay, I think I just got a heart attack because it's so pretty. I was actually thinking about getting the Explorer one because I like the color more because it's rather mint than light blue. But now as I'm seeing this color, I'm actually really happy that I got this one because it's actually super, super pretty. So let's put this baby aside and have a look at the rest. So we have the power cords. So let's have a look. And this is actually one sheet of smart vinyl removable in black. Oh, there it goes. And we have Cricut transfer tape and more black. And this is smart paper sticker cut stock. But we have more vinyl, so let's open the other box. So this is the creator box. 
Let's have a look at it. So first of all, we have the Cricut tool set. And I just want to mention quickly that this box cost like 50 bucks on top of the price of the Cricut itself. And that's actually quite crazy because this tool set costs 25 bucks alone. So this is actually worth half what I paid for this box. So let's see. We have Smart Vinyl in black. And this is actually the bigger roll. Um, the Smart Vinyls come in, I guess, two sizes. And this one is the bigger one. We also have it in white. And don't quote me on that, but I think on Amazon, these are also 25 each. I'll Google that for you, but I'm pretty sure that they cost 25 each. Then we have transfer tape, also 3.6 meters. And we have smart paper sticker card stock. And I'm still not sure <laughs> what you use this for, but it was included in the box. So these are 10 sheets in pastel colors. So yes, I was right. This one is 25 bucks. This one is 25 bucks. So I have actually got 50 bucks in here already. This one is also 25 bucks. And I'm not sure about that one and that one. But this is 75 euros already if I bought it individually. So paying 50 and getting more than 75 is actually a good deal. So yesterday I set up the Cricut and this is actually where my printer used to be. But it's down there now because I definitely need another shelf in here. But for now the printer has to be on the floor. And setting up the Cricut machine was actually quite annoying because you're supposed to connect it to your computer via USB cable. So I plugged it in and my computer just didn't find the Cricut machine. And there's actually no other option for setting up your Cricut with your computer except for USB. And I thought it was because I have a MacBook and have to use this thing with a USB port because mine doesn't have one. And yeah, so I tried it with my boyfriend's MacBook, which is an older version and actually has a USB port, but there it didn't work either. So I was kind of worried that the machine is broken or the cable or something. But then I remembered that Cricut says you can do everything on your iPad. So I downloaded Cricut Design Space onto my iPad and I could actually set it up via Bluetooth. I'm not sure why they don't offer the option on a computer, but that's the way it is for now. And as you can see, I just started a little Cricut project. I'm all in Christmas mood already. And yeah, I saw something like this on Pinterest. So I thought, why not try it myself? So I would like to use this design as a stencil and then put this design on a canvas. And yeah, let's get printing and see if it works because I have literally no idea what I'm doing. I think that worked really well. You can see where the machine cut the words and the Christmas trees. So and now it's time to lift off all the excess vinyl. So basically all the letters and I definitely need to find out uh, if you can use smart vinyl on a mat because there is a lot of vinyl left on the right side and I don't want to waste it. So. This stuff is expensive, I don't want to waste it.
so my first design is ready and now it's time to bring this design onto the canvas however i want to get this frame out of the canvas so i can kind of reframe it you will see in a second what i mean And now I have the frame and the canvas. So we'll turn the canvas around. This is where the stencil will go and the frame will go on top so that you have a nice wall decoration. So my DIY is pretty much done. I only need to glue the frame to the canvas but I'm not sure if I'll leave it like that or if I'll paint the wood black. But for now I'm pretty happy with the result. The lines aren't as clean as I had hoped for but for a first project I'm very happy with the result. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more cricket action in the future. See you next time. Bye, guys!